After NASA just hit that asteroid with a spacecraft, it got us thinking. How many asteroids are out there now that could potentially collide with Earth in our lifetime? That is what we are talking about here today with the top 10 terrifying asteroids that might hit Earth in our lifetime. Before I dive into this list today guys, I just want to give a quick shout out to today's video sponsor, Magellan TV. Magellan TV is that awesome documentary streaming service that you definitely don't want to miss out on. They have so many documentaries and docu-series for whatever your interests are. Do you like drama, history, nature, space? Whatever your thing is, Magellan TV has a documentary for you and they also add new titles every week so there's always going to be something new for you to look out for. Since the bitter Canadian winter is quickly approaching, I've been watching a lot of like earth and nature documentaries to help transport me to a warm place and recently I watched Vanishing Dragons with my Magellan TV subscription and I absolutely loved it. Basically it's about like these insane dragons that live in the Galapagos and I don't mean like Game of Thrones dragons of course. I'm talking about the really weird and wonderful creatures that are the prehistoric marine iguanas. For millions and millions of years these animals have learned how to survive and adapt but in the last 15 years all of a sudden their population has shrunk by extremely worrisome numbers. The documentary covers what it is that is causing this and how we can help protect this wonderful species from becoming another animal added to the extinction list. It's a visually stunning documentary, but it also really opens your eyes to like a completely different world, the life of these real life dragons. If Magellan TV sounds up your alley, which come on, how could it not? The good news is that now is the perfect time to check them out. Magellan TV has decided to give most amazing top 10 viewers a free one month trial to check out their service. And all you got to do is hit that link in the description box and head over there to start watching. It is for a limited time only though, so don't wait around, hit that link and enjoy. Starting off this list in our number 10 spot, we have 1997XF11. We all know, or at least have heard, that the dinosaurs were wiped out by an asteroid hitting Earth. If an asteroid were to hit Earth now, there is a good chance it would have a similar effect, but of course on humans. There have been dozens of asteroids that have nearly missed Earth, and a lot of them have been known and had their paths calculated beforehand to ensure our safety. But there have also been a lot of near misses that weren't seen until right before or sometimes even after the asteroid had already passed. There were five near misses in 2020 alone. In 2028, this asteroid is going to come extremely close to hitting Earth, but as of right now, scientists believe that it will miss the planet. If this asteroid were to hit Earth, it would be a mile wide asteroid hitting Earth at about 30,000 miles per hour, which is similar to a 1 million megaton bomb, which would most likely wipe out all of the life on Earth. So let's hope that doesn't happen, or maybe Elon Musk will be able to send us to Mars by 2028. In our number 9 spot today, we have 2022 AE1. Earlier this year, in January, as the year began, scientists were watching an asteroid dubbed 2022 AE1 that became the riskiest one observed in over a decade. The initial observations of this asteroid placed it impacting with Earth on roughly July 4th, 2023, which would mean that there would not be enough time to Reflected, and this asteroid was large enough to do some real damage should it strike an area. Yeah, it was most definitely a cause for concern. There was a week where the moon outshone this asteroid and experts weren't able to see it and continue tracking its path, but once the moon was out of this phase, the risk seemed to have diminished. As of now, this asteroid has been taken off the risk list, but who knows? It seems as though things can change quite quickly and unexpectedly outside of the cozy home and protection of our atmosphere. In our number 8 spot today, we have 99942 Apophis. This little asteroid has a diameter of about a fifth of a mile, and it is currently sitting at number 3 on the Palermo scale. This is something that I'll probably refer to again today, so let's just talk about it real quick. The Palermo Technical Impact Scale is a scale that is used by astronomers to rate the potential risk and hazard of impact of a near earth object or an NEO. It used the combined information and data of the probability of impact coupled with the estimated kinetic yield, which basically just shows us how likely and how badly an asteroid would mess us up, re the dinosaurs. So back to Apophis, this asteroid is at rank number three. So it's the third thing we gotta worry about. When it was discovered in 2004, astronomers gave it a one in 60 chance of striking earth in May of 2029 on Friday the 13th of all 
normal days. If it doesn't strike Earth, with the naked eye, we'll be able to see it pass at a distance of roughly 8,600 miles. But if it does strike Earth, we'll also be able to see it with the naked eye, just at a much closer distance. Because of how close this passing asteroid is going to be, if the asteroid passes us at a slightly different angle than current predictions, that is the possibility of a collision in 2036 or 2069. In our number seven spot today, we have 2020 CD3. In February of 2020, astronomers found this asteroid, which is a tiny near Earth asteroid or mini moon that orbits the sun, but it does make really close approaches to our Earth moon system, and it can even temporarily enter Earth's orbit. It is the second temporary satellite of Earth discovered in situ. Based on its trajectory, this asteroid was captured by Earth around 2016 or 2017, but it likely escaped the gravitational influence of Earth around May of 2020. Even the asteroid didn't want to stick around for the pandemic. 2020 CD3 is likely to make another close pass at Earth in 2044, but it hopefully won't be captured by Earth this time because of its greater approach distance. While this little thing is flying through space and it may makes its nice little frequent visits to us. The good news is that it is relatively small in terms of asteroids, so it's not likely an imminent threat to humanity. In our number six spot today, we have 153814-2001 WN5. This asteroid is classified as a small asteroid, but that does not mean that this thing is completely harmless. This asteroid has an orbit that passes that of Earth's, making it a near-Earth asteroid, but it is also a potentially hazardous one because of how close it can get. This asteroid orbits the sun every 818 days or 2.24 years, and it gets as far away from the sun as 2.51 astronomical units. Like I mentioned, this guy is classified as a small asteroid, but with a diameter of 0.9 kilometers, it is larger than about 97% of other small asteroids. It is said to be about the size of the Golden Gate Bridge, which is just absolutely insane to think about. The pass by the Earth that this asteroid is going to make that is the most concerning to scientists is going to happen on June 26th, 2028. Right now it is projected to be passing by at a distance of 248,700 kilometers, but when we're talking about a flying space object that's getting a little too close for comfort. It is said that during this close approach, the asteroid will be visible with just binoculars. In our number five spot today, we have 2008 DB. This is an asteroid that is said to be about the size of a school bus, and its orbit is one that crosses the orbit of Earth. This asteroid is definitely classified as being near Earth because of the fact that it is less than one astronomical unit away from Earth upon its closest approaches. This asteroid orbits the Sun, and it does so in a little longer than an Earth year, about every 395 days, so 1.08 years. One thing I found really interesting about this asteroid is that the way they were able to estimate its size was by how bright it is, and how this asteroid reflects light. Science is just so fascinating. It is said that 2008 DB has nine close approaches to Earth in the coming decades, so Fingers crossed, all goes well. In our number four spot today, we have 2014 HB177. This asteroid is quite similar to the last one. It is also around the size of a school bus, and it is an asteroid that is near Earth and often crosses with our orbit. This near Earth asteroid actually had a relatively close pass by Earth just last year in 2021 when it came within 10 million kilometers of Earth. That sounds like a lot, but in space, terms, it's really not that much. This asteroid orbits the sun about every 430 days or 1.18 years, but it rotates on its own axis quite quickly, completing a rotation every 0.02 hours. The next close approach of this asteroid to Earth is coming on May 6th, 2034, when this asteroid will be 514,556 kilometers away from Earth, but it doesn't stop here. There are seven upcoming dates, some of which are in our lifetime, that have been assessed as having an impact risk in these very close approach scenarios. The most risky right now is dated as May 3rd, 2085. In our number three spot today, we have 2010 RF-12. This asteroid is one that orbits the sun every 399 days or 1.09 years, and at its closest point, its orbit is startlingly close to Earth's. When this asteroid was first observed, it was actually thought to have the highest probability of striking Earth, but thankfully that number has since dropped in the last few years. Just recently, 
Recently, however, this asteroid had one close approach with Earth, passing at a distance of a little over 10 million kilometers. From now until 2095, there is thought to be 13 upcoming close approaches, with the final one being at the very small distance of 47,000 kilometers. Thankfully, the good news is that this asteroid is on the smaller size when it comes to asteroids, which means that should something go awry and this asteroid were to impact Earth, it likely wouldn't be the Earth-shattering, humanity-destroying asteroid that we all fear. In our number two spot today, we have 101955 Bennu. This asteroid was first discovered on September 11th, 1999, and it is a potentially hazardous object to us here on Earth. There is currently a 1 in 1,800 chance that this asteroid is going to impact Earth between 2178 and 2290. I know that's not really in our lifetime, but it's not very far off, and that's kind of frightening. The day that this asteroid has the greatest chance of impacting Earth is on September 24th, 2182. This asteroid was actually named after the ancient Egyptian mythological bird that is often associated with the sun, creation, and rebirth. We know more about this asteroid than many others because there was actually a mission to this asteroid in order to try and collect samples of it. On the 3rd of December, 2008, the Osiris Rex spacecraft reached this asteroid asteroid after traveling to it for two years. Not only did it orbit it for a while to map it out and get its measurements, but in 2020 it landed on the asteroid, and last year in May of 2021 it departed from the asteroid carrying a sample of it. Maybe next year it will return to Earth and help us learn even more about the history of this asteroid. In our number one spot today we have 2021 QM1. This asteroid was first discovered on August 28th, 2021, and at the time of its discovery it wasn't of much concern. But follow-up observations revealed something very different. It suddenly rang alarm bells that it might be on a path to a near miss with Earth around 2052. This asteroid is measured at about 50 meters in diameter, which is said to, should it impact Earth, be the equivalent of about 6 megatons of TNT or 400 times the strength of a nuclear just not very good and very obviously of concern. To make all the nervous scientists more nervous, shortly after discovery, this asteroid disappeared behind the sun out of their view. They waited patiently and used the very large telescope as much as they could, and when the asteroid peeked out from behind the sun, they were ready, and it was then that they managed to capture an image of the faintest asteroid ever observed. This observation thankfully gave them some good news. This asteroid likely won't hit Earth in 2052, and for now, now, for the foreseeable future, it shouldn't be on a collision course with Earth. They, of course, are going to continue observing it, though, and checking in, just to make sure that continues to be the case. All right, guys, that has been our list for today. Thanks so much for checking it out. I've been your host today, Olivia Kozlowski. Don't forget to hit that link down below for Magellan TV one-month free trial. Bye!